All right, weekend update. So headed out to Vegas for the National FOP Conference, which starts tomorrow morning. A lot been going on uh, travel-wise. So this week's update, a couple of simple things. First of all, congratulations to Chief Larry Snelling on his recommendation to be the new superintendent. Hopefully the city council does the right thing September 13th. We can start a new chapter with somebody who understands the men and women of this department, what they need, what's important, and help boost morale even higher than interim uh, superintendent Fred Waller has done with a lot of the maneuvers that he has put in place since he took over. Hopefully the momentum carries forward and uh, we end up getting this department back on the right track and in return, the city. Um, so the migrant bus, that was a big thing, a lot of hubbub and concern about it and rightly so. When a three-year-old dies mysteriously on a bus on their way to Chicago and the bus continues and drops off migrants, we've been trying to get information from the department and unfortunately they don't have much information yet either on the cause of death of this three-year-old. But it really highlights the seriousness of the exposure that our members are subjected to day in and day out. This process needs to stop. All of these migrants need to be sent and housed somewhere else other than police stations. It is an overcrowded safety, not to mention biohazard issue for our membership. It's just one thing after another. This city just doesn't care. Um, I hope it changes soon. We're not going to give up. We have tried many different avenues from uh, complaints to OSHA and even um, appeals to OSHA after the original denial and nothing. Nobody seems to think that this is a workplace concern. We're going to keep exploring every avenue possible to force the city, if we have to, to stop this practice from continuing. Lastly, I'll tell you this, arbitration. The arbitration process, interest arbitration, is continuing to wrap up the contract. There's been some whispers and some rumors going around, so I'll just put some of them to rest right now. The arbitrator, when he issued the two interim awards, said he was going to give us kind of some guidelines about what he was thinking of about the rest of the proposals that were left from both sides, ours and the city's. He was pretty clear in the update that a lot of those proposals were probably better off addressed somewhere else other than the interest arbitration process, whether it is in negotiation, whether it is in the grievance arbitration procedure for specific topics that those proposals cover, etc. So that triggered a conversation with myself and the lead attorney for the city, Jim Franzik. And we just simply had a meeting of the minds knowing where the arbitrator let us know he was. And if anything was going to get accomplished, it was going to be by agreement. So we really need to get serious about trying to have some conversations in depth about getting this contract finished up, even outside of the interest arbitration process. That's where we are at now. The city and us had two conversations um, last week, or I should say, well, last week, on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. They were extremely productive. Proposals were discussed, solutions about trying to put a lot of this behind us and move on forward about the rest of the things down the road. Uh, I'm pretty hopeful that we can continue down this path and get a resolution outside of interest arbitration for most of it and let uh, arbitrator Ben decide a handful of issues from there. Stay tuned. As soon as we have some more information, I will clearly give you an update. I'm not going to go into extreme details. It ruins the arbitration process, but I just wanted to give you at least an update on that level. The city realizes uh, negotiating in good faith for a change is the best path forward as the arbitration process continues. So everybody have a good rest of the weekend. I'll give you an update and let you know how the vote went on Thursday for the 2027 conference for Chicago and uh, my run for national vice president. Until then, have a safe day.